previously on Making the Band. The performance at the junior high, I look at more of like a practice performance. You set up, do it, and just hope that you guys do good whether the audience reacts or not. They may confuse the fact that girls are screaming for them, that it was a good show. And then when we go back and review tapes, then it's gonna be a reality check. We have record executives coming to watch us on Friday, so we have to be as good as possible. It's the day before our performance, so we're going in for our rehearsal to practice on the stage, like a real stage for the first time. Come on, Eric! Okay, let's go. Put in the car. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, right now while we're working on the trust, it'd probably be a good idea to sort of stay clear of the stage till we get it back up in the air. This sound. is light, sound, space in the stage. Right. Fixing some Fixing things from yesterday, light, light, light. you know. Red, blue. Talking about, yeah, yeah talking about yesterday. Actually, it's 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 easy. We thought we sucked, so uh, go ahead and give it to us. We thought the energy was up for our first performance, everything considered, it was good. <laughs> the Southwest Middle School show was fun. <laughs> They were screaming so loud we could not even hear ourselves. Our notes were so off because we could not hear a thing. So the show was good. I liked the energy. It was a good first show. You can look at your faces and tell you were like mesmerized at times at the reaction you was getting from these kids. And it was like, oh man, I'm on stage. You know, I'm, I'm performing. Eric contained himself more than I thought he would with going out. Whereas Jacob, who had it under control the whole time, walked on the whole sound booth. Because those people couldn't be a part of the whole show all the time, so I wanted to go see them. Being on stage is a rush. Performing in front of people is a is a is just a lifting thing. To be able to look at people's faces and know that they're enjoying what they're seeing. So I think you all did a good job for your first performance and for the amount of time that we have. I'm glad that we got to do it so that we can talk about the things that I've been telling you about since you started. And that's sensationalism. You have to be in control of your audience, not your audience control you. You know, they, you want them screaming, you want that, but at the same time, you still want to be able to do the things that you did in your show. It was magic. It was magic. I, I went over at one point, I was, I was singing Baby I Would, and I was singing um, to a girl in the audience. Oh, be all you need and do anything. And I'm looking at her in her eyes. I was singing at her, but she was feeling everything that I was feeling. It was incredible to be able to, to share that magic with, with someone in the audience and, uh, and to make them feel, really feel what you're singing about. But yesterday was not acceptable not anywhere close to being in the realm of where we were at with the sound check. You have to run your show. You have to do that. You cannot allow that audience to take over, because they will. And when they take over, your thing goes downhill real, real fast. The thing you have to remember is that if you don't sound good, we might as well shut it down and go home. If you want to keep this job, then you have to represent vocally those people in the industry that are going to give you the respect to keep this machine going are the ones that you have to impress. You never know who's out there in your audience. In walks Lou with the general manager at MTV, it's like, Dun, dun, dun. Van. Van's the GM of MTV. Van's the man. Van's the man. Quick study. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Mark. Awesome. Mark, yes, is it so possible cool. they could do a run through? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we, 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 we need to do it today anyway, so. We'll go watch real quick from down here. All right, Flash, change of plan. It's a big deal. And I know everybody's kind of worried, so we have to be as good as possible. Choreography was getting messed up. People were bumping into each other. Our harmonies were all off. He just had an effect on us. It was just horrible, absolutely horrible. <laughs> we have a lot of interest from a lot of record companies doing this to say yeah. hearing what we're doing. What's up, man? That's How come it is when I point to you, you just, you just blank? You don't think of anything. When that performance is going on, you have to be in control of all of your faculties. <clears throat> you can't space out into dreamland and pretend that you're on a, on a stage with 100,000 people. One person walked in and you guys got so caught up in it. Through your whole mentality. That it just showed you exactly where you're at. And you cracked your face. You got so ahead of yourselves and so psyched out. This is what we've been trying to tell you. It just happened. I you don't... cracked your faces. Your mind is focused on the wrong things. It appears to me that you are in this for the wrong reason. If you're gonna play it like that, if you think this is some sort of, you know, little show you doing for your high school or whatever, then you better you better think twice. If in your heart of hearts that you're here for the right reasons, <coughs> we need to see it now. You, you better get on this train because it's rolling, yeah. and it's gonna you know you're gonna get you're gonna get run over. You better get with it. 